Hello everyone, welcome back. So today is part three, the final part of the R.D. Frankie Coleman Lantern. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if, you, if you're watching this before you watch the other ones, um, just a quick explanation. So I had a um, Coleman LP Lantern um, that basically runs on liquid propane. Not like the ones where you screw a po uh, screw propane. Wow, I'm tongue-tied. Not like the ones where you screw it on top of a propane canister. But this one had a separate canister that went into the fount. Okay? So um, I took the top portion of that, which consisted of the vent and the frame and all the burners and YouTube and Venturi and uh, um, took them off and Ron T. Sawyer, um, again, brother, thank you so much, um, sent me the everything else that I needed from a 200A. And I'm going to build the Franken Lantern and I'm going to call it the R.D. Frankie for Ron Dom Frankenstein. So, uh, basically, I had issues with trying to get a color match for this paint. Um, it's a weird color. Again, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it, it's like a, it's got a greenish tint to it. Um, so, on the last video, on part two, I was saying I was, I was tending, I was a minute away from painting the fount black. Um, then I read a bunch of comments and... Um, you know, they were all great and useful and made me think. And then after I probably went to at least, it's got to be eight, nine different places, um, I ended up that there was a place that was about an hour from me that would do a color match and put it in a spray can. Um, but I, I just decided against that. I'm like, y you know what? Um, I, I was stressing too much over matching the paint. And I just walked into one of the first stores I went to, which happened to be Walmart. Um, and I just started holding this up to the different paint colors. And the paint color that I ended up choosing, I thought was a great contrast and it would look good. So, you all thinking it's black? It's not black. But what color is it? You ready for this? <laughs> it is green but it's a floral green now again the camera doesn't do it justice but when um, these are inside without all these lights pounding on it um, I actually had this on the shelf about four feet away from this and it almost looked like the same color I know that's hard to believe but uh, I think it's a great match. Um, I know I was reading Chuck's comment, and he was like, you know, uh, he's I'm more into, like, subtle contrast and stuff, and, um, you know, I think this fits the bill. So I went with a black decal uh, versus a red one. I thought that it just stood out a little better and did a little better popping on it, um, but I had so much trouble painting this thing, okay? Um, but let me just give it a whirl so you can see it. So what ended up happening was I painted it. And again, I have to work in between the humidity and the temperature here because it's just been crazy. And I know it's been crazy all over the place. Um, so I always, I do my priming. I let that dry. I do very very light coats and usually I'll do three coats sometimes four um, so everything was looking great I'm like wow this is looking nice and um, about 10 minutes after I I put the final coat on which I think was three it was either three or four coats um, I saw a huge sag and I was like no way so at that point you got a choice right you could strip the whole thing down or you could let it dry and cure and try to sand it out so i went for the second option um i i let it dry i cured it 
at 200 degrees for an hour um, and then I let it sit for for a while um, and I commenced to wet sanding it and it did not come out good um, I got a little aggressive and I went right through the coats down to the primer so now at this point pretty much screwed right so um, I stripped it down and I was a heartbeat away from going to Ace because I love Ace paints. Um, all the other lanterns that I redid were done with Ace paints. This time it's not Ace paint. Um, and I said, wow, I should just go buy. Man, I'm going to be yapping a lot on this one, folks. <laughs> but I just want to tell you. Um, so I said, I'm going to go buy the Ace paint. I literally got dressed, got my sneakers on, got my car keys. And then said, oh, wow, I painted the fuel cap already. And that actually came out great. Then I'll have to strip that. And I talked myself out of getting a paint. And I decided to strip it all down besides the cap and repaint it again and be careful of the sags. So now, even with my extreme care, trying not to get sags, it started to happen again. And it, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was really annoyed, okay? So what I end up doing is, because um, I keep a, a stick in here so I could kind of lift it around. I said, okay, you're going to sag on me? Well, I put another coat of paint on, and I just kept turning the fount all around, all around, all around, upside down, sideways, for... 35 minutes and that actually took the sag out i i was pretty surprised it worked but it did work um and uh yeah what i learned is that this is the paint rust-oleum protective enamel okay i'm never ever 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 going to use this paint again okay number one it takes two to three hours to dry, okay? There's, it's not paint and primer. Now, all the ace paints I use are paint and primer, even though I prime it first, okay? And they're quick dry, okay? Um, this just did not work for me. I love the color, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, not a good paint to use for um, a lantern because that... The dry time in between coats, which should only be a couple minutes, um, and according to the can, it says wait a couple minutes, just didn't work for me. Um, so I did rub it out, and um, it's got a nice shine. It's not super, super glossy. I did not use a clear coat on this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like the way it came out. As you can see, I have the pump in, and that's a new pump in you know keep it in line with it being a frankie the old pump was pretty trashed um and when i cleaned it all the plating came off so again i grabbed the new pump from my parts lantern um i have the valve in and the cap uh the gasket was replaced if you saw my video on how to replace the gasket so now i'm not going to bore you watching me assemble this because I have a lot of videos, um, for example, the 202, where I show the reassembling. So I'm going to reassemble this, and I'm going to bring you all back, and we're going to fire this puppy up. All right, so we got the frame on. And if you notice, I have a new knob that I painted the same color as the fountain. I thought that would look cool because the 200As, they have a red knob and a red fountain. Now, here's the original one, um, which kind of got burnt. So it's a little blackish, burgundy-ish, brownish. It probably almost looks black in the video. But, uh, yeah, so keep it in line with the Frankie theme. <laughs> so now the, um, the globe had some weird white stuff on it. I thought it was at first it was like water, you know, uh, calcium and stuff, but... Whatever it is, it isn't coming off. It wouldn't scrape off with a razor blade. 
Um, so again, keep it in line with the Frankie. It's got a couple scars. And then... That's how she looks. Oh, yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very pleased with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a mantle in there, fuel it up, and we're going to light her up and give it its first little shock. <laughs> get it? Shock? Frankie? <laughs> Man, I'm cracking myself up. All right. I'll be right back. All right. I got it all fueled up. I got a mantle on it. I got it pumped up. And I'm going to use this cool little pencil torch I got. And I'm going to heat up the generator. And there you go. Now, if you notice, the fuel's off. Now it should go. There you go. Look at that, folks. That's how it should work. If you did everything right um, and you hear the fuel gurgle and then shut it off and heat the generator, it should vaporize the fuel and it should light right up. It should. <laughs> yeah, look at that, huh? Beautiful. Plenty of pressure. Well, there you have it, folks. The RD Frankie. Let's kick it back a little bit. There it is. One of a kind. Turn that wheel, Vanna. <laughs> oh, man, I'm definitely digging it. Again, Ron, thank you, brother, so much for the, the uh, lower half of the RD, Frankie. Yeah, it definitely looks cool. And it's burning great. Now, you see... um. When I pack the generator with the bronze wool, you don't get that pulsing effect. Now, it's obviously, well, not obviously, but it's the middle of the day. So we can shut some lights off. Oh, we're getting a little pulsing there. That could be the fuel settling in. Yep, that settled it. So there you have it, folks. The uh, part three, the finale of the R.D. Frankie. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know why I laugh every time I say that. but uh, So I want to thank you all for coming along. And Ron, I know I said this like 75 times, but thank you again, brother, for the parts. I appreciate it, man. Much, much love to you. Um, and much, much love to all of you, my brothers and sisters. I always appreciate you coming along. I always appreciate you leaving such great comments. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next one.